In this podcast episode, philosopher Jack Symes joins Joe Rogan to explore the intricate connections between the multiverse, new atheism, consciousness, ethics, and the search for meaning in life. He delves into the philosophical implications of existence, the nature of free speech, and the moral responsibilities we hold towards non-human animals, while also examining the transformative potential of psychedelics and the evolving landscape of societal norms. Symes discusses the relevance of the multiverse in philosophical discourse, emphasizing that philosophers need to engage with such theories, which are often relegated to physicists. He notes that society currently leans towards scientism, the belief that science can answer all questions, leading to dismissals of philosophy by figures like Lawrence Krauss and Richard Dawkins. He highlights the importance of philosophy, likening it to plumbing that clears clogs in societal conversations about concepts such as free speech and identity. The fundamental questions of philosophy, according to Symes, include inquiries about existence, consciousness, and morality. He cites Albert Camus, who posits that the central question of philosophy is whether life is worth living. This inquiry connects to discussions about the multiverse and new atheism as it raises questions about the purpose of existence and the nature of reality. Symes critiques the new atheism movement, represented by figures like Dawkins and Hitchens, arguing that it fails to address deeper philosophical questions. He suggests that while these thinkers effectively criticize religion, they do not provide satisfactory answers regarding meaning and ethics. The dismissal of philosophy by new atheists leads to a dogmatic stance that mirrors the rigidity of religious belief. He points out that the new atheism movement emerged in response to events like the September 11 attacks, but it lacks a comprehensive philosophical framework to explore the meaning of life. Symes believes that this failure contributes to the decline of new atheism's popularity as it cannot adequately address the complexities of existence. In discussing the nature of existence, Symes argues that the multiverse theory complicates the understanding of good and evil. He posits that if there are infinite universes, each containing varying degrees of suffering and happiness, it becomes challenging to assert that existence is ultimately good. The existence of countless worlds where horrific events occur raises questions about the overall value of life. The search for meaning is a central theme in Symes's discussion. He argues that while individuals can find personal meaning in their lives, the broader question of ultimate meaning remains unresolved. The absence of a definitive answer to the question of life's purpose leads to existential angst as individuals grapple with the apparent indifference of the universe. Symes emphasizes the importance of community and connection in finding meaning. He suggests that human beings thrive on relationships and shared experiences, which contribute to a sense of purpose. The idea that individuals can create their own meaning through their actions and interactions is a recurring theme in his philosophy. The conversation touches on the role of psychedelics in exploring consciousness and the potential for profound experiences. Symes notes that many individuals report significant changes in perspective after using psychedelics leading to a greater understanding of themselves and their place in the universe. However, he also acknowledges the risks associated with these substances, including the potential for negative experiences. He highlights the need for a nuanced discussion about psychedelics, recognizing that while they can offer valuable insights, they also carry risks that should not be overlooked. The conversation about psychedelics parallels the broader discourse on free speech where the complexities of individual experiences and societal implications must be carefully considered. Symes discusses the nature of consciousness, suggesting that it may be akin to a giant motherboard with individuals connected to a shared consciousness. He posits that this connection becomes evident during moments of community bonding, particularly in the face of tragedy. The idea of consciousness as a shared experience resonates with the notion that human beings are social animals inherently seeking connection with one another. He also explores the philosophical implications of consciousness, referencing the work of philosophers like Thomas Nagel, who argues that physics does not reveal the inner nature of things. Instead, it describes what things do. 
This leads to a discussion about the continuity of consciousness over time, questioning how individuals maintain their identity despite changes in their experiences. Symes raises the question of whether the universe itself is a conscious entity, evolving and improving over time. This perspective aligns with pantheistic views, where the universe is seen as a conscious being that is constantly developing. In conversations about ethics, the topic of animal rights emerges prominently. Symes emphasizes the moral value of non-human animals, suggesting that they experience pain and pleasure similarly to humans. He references the philosopher Tom Regan, who presents a thought experiment involving a lifeboat scenario where a choice must be made between saving a human or a golden retriever. This thought experiment highlights the moral dilemmas surrounding the value of different lives. The discussion extends to the ethics of hunting versus factory farming. Symes argues that hunting, when done humanely, is more ethical than the practices found in factory farming, where animals endure significant suffering. He notes that factory farming is responsible for the overwhelming majority of animal suffering, contrasting it with the more humane methods of hunting, which can be regulated and managed by wildlife biologists. The conversation touches on the complexities of free speech, particularly in the context of societal norms and legal boundaries. The idea emerges that free speech is not an absolute right. There are limitations, such as prohibitions against slander and threats of violence. The discussion highlights the importance of distinguishing between harmful speech and free expression. A notable example is the notion that one cannot shout fire in a crowded theater, as doing so could incite panic and lead to harm. The guest emphasizes that while free speech is vital, it should not come at the expense of public safety. The dialogue also explores the implications of public figures expressing controversial opinions. Symes mentions Tommy Robinson, who makes inflammatory statements about certain demographics. The conversation raises questions about the moral responsibility of individuals who platform such figures, suggesting that while free speech is essential, it should be accompanied by moral condemnation of harmful rhetoric. The guest argues that the best approach to countering bad speech is through good speech, advocating for open dialogue and debate rather than censorship. The discussion on theism centers around the nature of God and the implications of a universe governed by a deity. Symes argues that traditional views of God as a perfect being are challenged by the existence of suffering and evil in the world. The conversation explores the idea that if God exists, the presence of pain and injustice raises questions about divine goodness. The guest suggests that the concept of a pantheistic God, where God is synonymous with the universe, may offer a different perspective on the divine. Symes also addresses the multiverse theory, positing that if multiple universes exist, each with varying degrees of suffering and happiness, it complicates the understanding of a benevolent deity. The implications of this theory suggest that the existence of a perfect God becomes increasingly difficult to reconcile with the reality of human experience. The conversation emphasizes the need for a philosophical framework that can accommodate both the existence of God and the presence of evil. Symes discusses the importance of philosophy in understanding societal norms. He likens philosophy to plumbing, suggesting that it helps clear the clogs in societal conversations about complex issues such as gender identity and free speech. The philosopher's role is to examine these concepts and facilitate a better understanding of them. He emphasizes that individuals are constantly trying to understand the concepts they use in their daily lives, which shapes their personal identities. The conversation touches on the idea that societal norms can be influenced by various factors, including cultural beliefs and historical contexts. Symes points out that the way people perceive and engage with these norms can significantly impact their identities. He argues that the failure to engage with philosophical discussions can lead to dogmatism, where individuals become rigid in their beliefs without considering alternative perspectives. The discussion shifts to the relationship between evolution and technology. Symes suggests that human beings are in a constant state of evolution, not just biologically, but also in terms of technological advancement. He posits that the apex of human existence is marked by the ability to create technology that improves life.
This technological progress is seen as a natural extension of human evolution, where each advancement builds upon the last. He highlights that the process of evolution is not just about survival, but also about improvement. The development of technology serves as a reflection of this evolutionary process, as humans strive to create better versions of themselves and their environments. Symes notes that this drive for improvement is evident in the rapid advancements in technology, which continue to shape society. The notion of progress is central to Symes' argument about the future of humanity. He believes that the continuous pursuit of knowledge and improvement is essential for societal advancement. This progress is not limited to technological advancements, but encompasses moral and ethical development as well. He emphasizes that individuals have a responsibility to contribute positively to society, shaping a future that reflects shared values and aspirations.